Enterprise Architecture, EA, is a discipline which has evolved to structure the business and its alignment with the IT systems. The Zachman Framework is an enterprise ontology and is a fundamental structure for enterprise architecture which provides a way of viewing an enterprise and its information systems from different perspectives and showing how the components of the enterprise are related. Let's check out everything about Zachman Framework. Number 8. Why Zachman Framework? In today's complex business environments, many large organizations have great difficulty responding to changes. Part of this difficulty is due to a lack of internal understanding of the complex structure and components in different areas of the organization, where legacy information about the business is locked away in the minds of specific employees or business units without being made explicit. The Zachman Framework provides a means of classifying an organization's architecture. It is a proactive business tool which can be used to model an organization's existing functions, elements, and processes, and help manage business change. The framework draws on Zachman's experience of how change is managed in complex products such as airplanes and buildings. Number 7. Zachman Framework versus traditional software process. Many software methodologies are organized around the phases of the system development life cycle and the steps within each of these phases required to develop systems. This is expressed as consisting of strategy, analysis, design, construction, transition, and testing. In 1987, John Zachman published a different approach to the elements of system development. Instead of representing the process as a series of steps, he organized it around the points of view taken by the various players, providing organizations with an effective way of assessing the completeness of software development process models in terms of an organization's information needs. Number 6. Structure of Zachman Framework Zachman Framework is a two-dimensional classification scheme for descriptive representations of an enterprise that is structured as a matrix containing 36 cells, each of them focusing on one dimension or perspective of the enterprise. Rows are often presented as different viewpoints involved in the system's development process, while columns represent different perspectives of the stakeholders involved in the organization. The rows of Zachman Framework focus on describing the enterprise from six viewpoint perspectives of the stakeholders. These six perspectives are based on English language interrogatives. What, where, who, when, why, and how. Known as W5H. The columns of the framework consist of a set of artifacts which are description of the enterprise from specific viewpoint of a group of stakeholders. The stakeholders are generally grouped as planners, owners, designers, architects, implementers, subconstructors, users, and sometimes represented as viewpoints. Scope text, business concepts, system logic, technology, physics, component assembles, and operations classes. Number 5. Columns of Zachman Framework The columns represent the interrogative or questions that are asked of the enterprise. These are what? Data. What is the business data? Information or objects. How? Function. How does the business work? That is, what are the business's processes? Where? Network. Where are the business's operations? Who? People. Who are the people that run the business? What are the business units and their hierarchy? When? Time. When are the business processes performed? That is, what are the business schedules and workflows? Why? Motivation. Why is the solution the one chosen? How was that derived from? What motivates the performance of certain activities? Number 4. Rows of Zachman Framework Each row represents a distinct view of the organization from the perspective of different stakeholders. These are ordered in a desired priority sequence. A row is allocated to each of the following stakeholders. 
Planner's View, Scope Context. This view describes the business purpose and strategy, which defines the playing field for the other views. It serves as the context within which the other views will be derived and managed. Owner's View, Business Concepts. This is a description of the organization within which the information system must function. Analyzing this view reveals which parts of the enterprise can be automated. Designer's View, System Logic. This view outlines how the system will satisfy the organization's information needs. The representation is free from solution-specific aspects or production-specific constraints. Implementer's View technology physics. This is a representation of how the system will be implemented. It makes specific solutions and technologies apparent and addresses production constraints. Sub-constructors view, component assembles. Number three, rules of Zachman framework. The framework is designed to work with both physical objects and conceptual ideas. To fill in the matrix's columns and rows, You'll need to input from stakeholders and will likely include redundancies and duplicate information. The goal is to reduce these redundancies as much as possible. Finishing with a concise document that delivers a clear picture into your organization's enterprise or IT architecture. Zachman established seven guiding rules or principles for completing the two-dimensional matrix. Columns have no order, but should be arranged in top-down order starting with the most significant category. This will be specific to your IT project or concern and might change when applied to other product or service. You should avoid adding or removing any columns or rows, as you will need them all to gain the complete picture. Each column has a simple generic model and can have its own meta model within that column. The basic model of each column must be unique and avoid overlapping or replicating data in any other column. Each row describes a distinct, unique perspective. You should avoid having any meta models or concepts ascribed to multiple cells. A key element of this framework is that it avoids all redundancies in the final two-dimensional matrix. If you are successful with rules 2, 3, and 4, you should have a matrix where each cell is unique. Number 2. Integrating UML, BPMN, ERD with Zachman Framework The Zachman Framework is an ontology which helps to create the structure rather than a methodology which provides the transforming process. In practice, Zachman Framework is quite popular since it can be applied with other frameworks that emphasize the process. The Zachman Framework can provide guidance on what kind of artifacts are needed in different stage of the process. The combined application can produce predictable and repeatable results according to the basic structure provided by Zachman Framework. The following figures show the ontology structure of Zachman Framework and combined use of the UML, BPMN, ERD, and other diagrams. Number 1. Zachman versus TOGAF While Zachman provides an agile and flexible approach to enterprise architecture, TOGAF, the Open Group Architecture Framework, is considered the de facto industry standard framework. This framework offers a methodology approach to EA design and is more popular among architects. The TOGAF framework provides a series of actionable steps known as the Architecture Development Method, ADM. The ADM is a generic but adaptable methodology to approach the enterprise architecture process. The TOGAF-ADM framework works in life cycles of interchangeable steps to implement the decision choices and produce the desired models. Do let us know in the comments if you have more information about this mechanism. Thanks for watching.